Hello, good afternoon again. So, let us continue our discussion with the obligations with the period. So, I think this has been a fourth um, part of third or fourth part, if I'm not mistaken, of our discussion under the main topic obligations with a period. So, this is one of the uh, major in the classifications or primary classifications of an obligation so obligation with a period as previously discussed if a an obligation is subjected to a happening of a period wherein its extinguishment or effectivity is subjected to it then it is an obligation with a period so 1194 if we have to read it um, verbatimly we have in case of loss, deterioration, or improvement of the thing before the arrival of the day certain, the rules in 1189 shall be observed. So we will recall what was what has been the rule under 1189 or what does 1189 say? So if you could still remember... Under the application of Rule 1189, ang sabi ng 1189 daw, in case of loss, deterioration, improvement of the thing should take place after the obligation has been constituted ha, but before the fulfillment of or the arrival of the period, then there will be a certain rule to follow. So if you could recall, in case of loss, Kapag loss, kung natataandaan ninyo, kapag with debtor's fault, without debtor's fault pala, so kapag without debtor's fault sa loss, the obligation is extinguished. Kapag naman with debtor's fault, yung atin pong loss, edi the obligation is to pay for damages. In case naman of deterioration, if you could recall the rule, without debtor's fault, so basically, ang impairment shall be borne by the creditor. Hindi po liable ang debtor, if you would recall ha. Tapos naman, kapag it, if it is with debtor's fault, it's either he may choose si creditor recession or cancellation ng kontrata o di kayaman or ng obligation plus damages o di kayaman ay fulfillment plus damages. But it is alternative and not cumulative. Not cumulative. So it needs to say that if he chooses for a recession, he could no longer um, have the full. Uh, he could, if he chooses fulfillment, he could no longer ask for the recession of the obligation. However, if fulfillment is no longer possible, he could ask for the recession of the obligation. So when it comes, naman, to improvement of the thing. If we could recall regarding under 1189, before the arrival of the period, what would be? If by the nature and time there has been an improvement, then it will inure to the benefit of the creditor. Mapapunta po siya sa benefit ng creditor. Kapag naman at the expense of the debtor, so syempre ay gumasas daw si debtor. Paano? Saan po mapapunta yung mga improvement or additions? na nangyari doon sa thing so ang mangyari daw the debtor's right is that granted only to that of a usufructuary ano 1195 anything paid or delivered before the arrival of the period before the arrival of the period the obligor or the debtor being unaware, hindi daw siya aware of the period, believing that the obligation has become due and demandable may recover or may be recovered with the fruits and interest. So, other words of saying this one is that what if, what if nga daw, the debtor has paid before the arrival of the period. So, according to 1195, thou, the debtor may recover what he has paid, including for the fruits and interests, if he is unaware of the period. Malinaw yan. Ano? But if, you know naman, this one, if he paid volunt voluntarily naman, knowing that the obligation is not yet due, 
most likely he could not recover what has he has paid because he is aware naman eh he knows that the obligation is not due however however if cases man na uh, um the obligation is not yet due and such payment has earned some interest or fruits ano po pwede po niyang i-recover yung naging fruits and interest ano so that has been a um the brief summary under 1195 ano moreover under articles 1195 this article apply only to obligations to give ano which allows for the recovery what has been paid by mistake kasi under the principle nga naman of unjust enrichment so the creditor of course could not enrich himself by retaining the thing or money he has received before the arrival of the period but um here the presumption is ang debtor daw ay alam niya na ang debt ay not yet due and he has the burden of proving that he is not aware that the period is due para po he would be entitled for the recovery ano recovery of the paid uh, of the money or a uh, money or thing that has been paid even though uh, prior to the arrival of the period but in case man he yeah, could not prove that then still he could recover for the fruits and interest thereof in case of premature performance of the mature prior to the maturity of the obligation um take note ha 1195 is applicable in obligations to uh give kung naalala ninyo what is an obligation to give this is a real obligation and however no recovery when it comes to personal obligations take note of this one yung obligation to do and not to do wala po siyang application sa yung recovery in personal obligations bakit po because it is physically impossible to recover the service that has been rendered tama ba as the obligor performs by not doing he cannot of course recover what he has not done so that's it for 1190 um 4 and 1195